हेलो डियर स्टूडेंट दिस इज मिस्टर हितेश पटेल असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर एल जे इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी दिस इज द फर्स्ट इंट्रोडक्टरी वीडियो ऑफ बेसिक मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग वी नो दैट मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग इज एवरीवेयर इन अवर डेली रूटीन लाइफ वी आर यूजिंग वेरियस कंपोनेंट विच आर रिलेटेड टू मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग फ्रॉम स्मॉल लीडल टू जॉइंट प्लेन मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग आर यूजफुल तो let's starts with the basic mechanical engineering actually basic mechanical engineering subject that we are going to divide totally into four modules the first one is energy second one is mechanical components third one is engineering materials and the last one is engineering thermodynamics okay so first of all we are going to discuss about energy we already knew that energy means capacity to do work and various energy resources are available okay so which kind of energy resources are available that thing we will learn in detail in this chapter and we already knew that any country's growth totally depends upon the energy resources that country own it okay so in this chapter first we are going to discuss about renewable energy after then non renewable energy and the last environmental issues next is mechanical component in mechanical component we are going to discuss about pumps air compressor coupling clutches and brakes and transmission of motion and power pump we already familiar with the word pump because in our household application we are using pump for conveying liquid from lower elevation to higher elevation okay so pump is a mechanical device which is used to transfer the liquid from one place to another place in this chapter we are going to discuss about various types of pump how the pump will work about its operation and its application in various fields next is air compressor air compressor we know that for filling air in our uh, uh, bikes or uh, two wheeler or four wheelers uh, vehicles uh, tire we are using air compressor okay so air compressor is used to fill the air and in our refrigerator and air conditioning air compressor is used to compress the refrigerant so which are the types of air compressor how it works and uh, which are the practical application of air compressor that we will discuss in this chapter next is coupling clutches and brakes we all are familiar with this word brakes because brakes is used to slow down the moving motion of moving machine member but we don't have enough idea about the couplings and clutches so coupling and clutches is the device which are used to transfer the power from one shaft to another shaft or for transferring power from driving shaft to driven shaft couplings and clutches are used but there is minor difference between the couplings and clutches that we will discuss in detail with all of its classification and practical application in this chapter the next one is transmission of motion and power in transmission of motion and power we are going to discuss about how the power will transfer from one shaft to another shaft and for the transferring power we are using various kind of gears belt drive pulley drive chain drive about all these components in detail we are going, we are discussing in this chapter okay next one is engineering materials we already knew that for formation of anything material must required and proper choosing of the material is the main thing in engineering for its particular application so engineering material is mainly divided into two group metallic materials and non metallic materials metallic materials are divided into two part first is uh, ferrous material and another is non ferrous material that thing will di discuss in detail in this uh, in this uh, module and the next one is non metallic material non metallic material like rubber uh, plastic uh, ceramics all these things which are included in non material non metallic material are discussed in this session 
Next one is engineering thermodynamics. We already knew that engineering thermodynamics, there are five, six chapters, properties of gas, properties of steam, heat engine, steam boilers, refrigeration and air conditioning and IC engine. First of all, we are going to discuss properties of gas. Question is, why for mechanical engineer learn this topic? So, we know that when the combustion of the fuel takes place, hot flue gas is generated for mechanical engineer. It is compulsory to know the behavior of the gas after the combustion. So, that thing will be discussed in properties of gases and in properties of gas, we also discuss about basic gases law like Charles law, Boyle's law, Gallusek's law and many other things like uh, what happen if the heat is supplied at constant pressure, what happen if heat is supplied at constant temperature as well as constant volume, that thing in detail we will discuss in properties of gas. The next one is properties of steam. In properties of steam, we first discuss what is the main difference between gas and steam. After that, we are going to discuss how the steam formation takes place and uh, how the quality of the steam will be measured because the steam will be are of three types wet steam dry steam and superheated steam according to its application we are using the various types of steam in industries the next topic is heat engine we know that the heat engine was firstly developed by carnot in 1662 so from 1662 to this particular 2020, various engines are developed. Out of these engines, we are going to discuss about Carnot engine, uh, Rankine cycle, uh, auto cycle and diesel cycle. Auto cycle and diesel cycle is current in development. Auto cycle means petrol engine and diesel cycle means diesel engine. The next one is steam boiler. We know that boiler is used to convert the steam from water at high temperature and pressure condition. So in steam boiler chapter, we are going to discuss or we are focusing mainly on three boilers. One is Babcock and Wilcox boiler. Second one is Lancashire boiler and third one is Cochran boiler. Out of these three boilers, many accessories and mountings are fitted over this boiler. We are also discussing about the mountings and accessories which are fitted over these boilers in this chapter. The next one is refrigeration and air conditioning. We all know that we have already used this device refrigerator as well as air conditioner at our home. But we never try to understand how this thing will work. So in this video session, sorry in this chapter we will discuss how refrigerator and air conditioner will work okay and which components are used in uh, formation or in construction of refrigerator and air conditioner next one is ic engine in ic engine first of all the full form of ic engine is internal combustion engine in ic engine we are focusing on four engine first is two stroke petrol engine two stroke diesel engine four stroke petrol engine and four stroke diesel engine if you will understand these engines then you can easily get idea how the engine will work so dear students this is all about the uh, basics of mechanical engineering so let me remind you once again total four modules are in this subject energy mechanical components engineering materials and thermodynamic